Good morning, good morning, good morning. We're going to go ahead and start our uh, senior awards. I want to, first of all, welcome the community, the parents, the family members, and the contributors as we honor members of our senior class of 2017 who have achieved excellence in diverse areas of high school career. We are showcasing the outstanding efforts of our students here today. I commend the generosity of the time and money that so many scholarship contributors will be giving to our students here today. Students, so many of you have done extraordinary community services. Some of you have poured your hearts into your creative writing entries. So many of you have achieved academically. And I could go on and on. However, let me stop so that we can move through our program. At this time, I'm going to ask Mr. Jesse Lang and the choir members to please come forward. And they're going to lead us in our alma mater. Mr. Lang. Wow, I tell you, they are so amazing. Our students are amazing students here. Um, so let, yes, go ahead and applaud for them. They are, they are really amazing. Under uh, Mr. Jesse Lang's leadership, uh, we really, really appreciate them for singing the alma mater. So we're gonna really move into our program here. So let me just uh, lay out a few things so that people understand what we're gonna do here. Uh, we're gonna begin to call up our wonderful students. Um, we're gonna also call up our presenters. Once the program begins, please step up to the podium. This is to our presenters as soon as the award ahead of you is announced. Okay, so we want you to move quickly. We want you to call your recipient's name first. Okay, call your recipient's name first so they can begin to move towards the podium. Because there are so many awards that we are going to be given here today, our time is very limited. So we wanna ask our presenters to please remember we have asked you to limit your remarks to two minutes. Okay, two minutes to our presenters. Students and presenters, uh, you're gonna use the stairwell to my right here when you come up. You're gonna use this stairwell here. At this time, I would like to introduce, uh, before we get started, uh, to all of you, she's no stranger to anyone in this uh, auditorium here, but I would like to introduce our wonderful and hardworking superintendent, uh, Dr. Talisa Dixon, up to the podium at this time. Dr. Dixon will be presenting the Scholastic Recognition Awards. Good morning, and, gr and welcome to our parents, our students, our presenters. I'm honored today to present these, to acknowledge our students for their academic achievement. National Merit Scholarship Program. We will begin our program with the National Merit Scholarship Program with Charles Adam, Dor Dorothy Ferris,
Cody Radovoyevich and William Vandenberger join me on stage. The Preliminary Scholastics After Two National Merit Scholarship Qualifying Test, known as PSAT, is offered every October. Juniors who wish to be considered for financial assistance through scholarship programs administered by the National Merit Scholarship Corporation in their senior year must take the test. More than 1.5 million students took the October test in 2015 and entered the National Merit program, 50,000 of the highest scores were identified. Some 16,000 of those high performers were designated semifinalists. The other 34,000 high perform performers were commended students. Our National Merit Scholarship commended students are Dorothy Ferris, step forward Dorothy, succeed, yes, Cody Radovoyevich, and William Vanden Bogart. <laughs> you scored in the top 5% and are recognized for exceptional academic promise. Dorothy, Cody, and William, a spokesperson from the National Merit Scholarship Corporation, writes that you have demonstrated outstanding potential for academic success. You represent a valuable national resource, recognizing your accomplishments, as well as the key role our school played in your academic development, is vital to the advancement of ex educational excellence in our nation. We hope that this recognition will help to broaden your educational opportunities and encourage you as you continue to pursue your academic success. Congratulations, and please remain on stage. The 16,000 semifinalists are the highest scores in each of the 50 states and represents less than 1% of each state's high school seniors. In February, students who meet all rigorous requirements for finalists standing in this year's National Merit Scholarship programs were announced. Charles Adams, would you please step forward? <laughs> Charles, you advanced to the national finalist status. Congratulations. This distinction places you in a group representing fewer than half of a percent. Charles, you will be considered for the National Merit Scholarships to be offered this year. National Merit Scholarship winners of the 2017 school year will be announced in four nationwide news releases beginning in April and concluding in July. All of you students represent our National Merit Scholarships program. Congratulations to all of you. We applaud you as you continue to pursue academic success. Let's give them all a round of applause again. Thank you. Thank you. Phi Beta Kappa. Callan Swain Fox, please come forward. Come on, Callan. Where is she? She was in the back. Did she come forward? Guess where's Callan? Here she comes. The Cleveland Association of Phi Beta Kappa was chartered in 1947. Since its exception, it has sought to recognize scholastic excellence as exemplified by outstanding high school students throughout the Cleveland area. Each year, the association honors the individual student in each high school who has been nominated by his or her school as being worthy of recognition. The honored student is one who demonstrates qualities of academic honesty, 
inquiry into scholarly matters, which goes beyond assignments and requirements, a creative involvement in scholarship, and great interest in things of the mind. The student is selected from a group of students who are in the top 10% of the class in achievement. Our Phi Beta Kappa honoree this year is Callan Swain Fox. She, is a four, she has a 4.5926 grade point average. Callan states that the people of Cleveland Heights uh, uh, and its public schools have shaped who she is and how she sees the world. She would take passion and excitement to Smith College this fall and major in history and the study of women. Callan, we are so proud of you. Congratulations. Let's give her a round of applause. Advanced placement scholars, Student, as you, students, as you hear your name, please join me on stage. Paris Colbert, Soli Collins, Louis Koval, Daniel Fields, Isabella Jaffrey, Andrew Kilbride, Laura Mattia, Cecilia Payne, James Smith, and Gilda Weinstock. Cleveland Heights High School offers a rich spectrum of advanced placement courses. Each year, hundreds of students participate in AP courses, which mirror college level classes. Every May, students take the AP exam for the subject she or he has been preparing for. Grades are released each July, and students have the ability to earn college credit or an advanced placement into a specific college courses based on their AP exam. I am pleased to present our students who have been recognized by the College Board for their AP levels of achievement. These fine young students have been designated as AP scholars. This honor is granted to students who receive scores of three or higher on three or more AP exams. So the next remain on stage students, and I'd like some other students to join me on your right and my left. Andrew Bell, is Andrew here? Anya Chu, David Fleischer, Jeremy Kaufman, Faith Morris, Talani Matsumai, and Nina Yao. If you look at come on this side, yes. That's fine, yeah, you're okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you have earned the AP Scholar with Honor Achievement. It is granted to students who receive an average score of at least 3.25 on all AP exams taken and grades of three or higher on four or more of these exams. And as I call your name, will these additional scholars come up? Charles Adams, or step forward. Akash Bartlett. Cody Radovoyevich. Benjamin Schuster, Emma Schuster, Callan Swain Fox, and William Van de Bogert. And you can you can stand right in front. Yeah, that's right. You stand in front of me. Yeah, you can stand right in front of me. That's fine. 
Yeah, no, you can stand right in front of me. That's okay. You're fine. These ladies and gentlemen have earned the Advanced Placement Scholar with distinction. They have earned an average of 3.5 on all AP exams taken and scores of three or higher on five or more of these exams. So to all of our scholars, let's give a hearty round of applause for their hard work, dedication, and achievement. Awesome. All right, thank you. You may be seated. I want to commend these students and, and all of the remaining students that are to be recognized later. I thank all of the students for a tremendous recognition and honors they have brought to this district. I want to say that again. I want to congratulate you students for all the tremendous honor that you have brought to this district because of your academic achievement and your dedication. I also want to thank the community for your support of our student body and the teachers for your, your hard work of preparing all our students. So thank you, and I will please turn this over to Mr. Ross for the remainder of the program. Thank you, Dr. Dixon. One more round of applause for Dr. Dixon and all those students who just received their awards. At this time, we are going to present the President's Awards for Educational Excellence. I'm going to call several names for those students. If you would uh, please join me on stage. And what I'm going to ask the students to do is if they can stand over to my right, your left, so that they don't block the screen here. If you can do that, I would greatly appreciate that. So when I call your name, just come forward. Charles Adams, Galvin Alcorn, Akash Bartlett, Louis Kovalt, Avery Dyer, David Fleischer, Molly Fleischer, Samuel Frank, Peter Hart, Daniel Lawson, Tyler Lawson, uh, Dorothy Ferris, Cody Radovoyevich, Benjamin Schuster, James Smith, Callan Swain Fox, Alexis Thompson, William Vanden Bogart, Christina Wayne and Nia Yao. Would you all please come forward? Also, could I have um, Tulati Mutsamai, please, if he's here. He wasn't here just a moment ago, but if he's here, he can uh, come up as well. Okay. So the President's Education Award Program, it's established by the United States Department of Education. It recognizes and honors outstanding educational achievement. Students must have a 3.5 grade point average or better on a four-point scale. Also, students must score in the 85th percentile or higher in math and reading on standardized achievement tests. These students are recipients of the President's Educational Awards Program. Students, our district, our community, and our high school, we are very proud of you. Congratulations. And if you can just please remain here, I have um, Mrs. Henderson. I believe she's going to take a picture at this time of the President's Award recipients. So if you could stand here. Do you want them on one side? Okay, so we're gonna change that. And so after the ceremony, uh, if you all can please report to the uh, cafeteria and then she will take your picture there. So once again, congratulations. And can we please uh, let these students know that we really appreciate everything that they've done. Good job, guys. Okay, you guys may be seated.
So as our students take their seats, let me just remind people in the audience, it's okay to clap, it's okay to applaud for uh, all of our recipients here. At this time, we're going to begin our local scholarships, and we are going to uh, ask Ms. Jan Lewis to come forward, and once again, we will begin our local scholarships and award portion at this time. Hello, students of Heights High, graduates of 2017, esteemed teachers, staff, and proud parents and family. My name is Jan Lewis. I have the honor of presenting the John Lewis Scholarship Award. This year's winner is Faith Morris. <laughs> I feel I need to tell you a little bit about John Lewis, since this is the John Lewis Award. Um, John would have been my brother-in-law. He died many years ago in a car accident while driving to Canada after graduating from Heights High. John was killed instantly after his car crashed. Thankfully, the other three people riding with him survived. John was very smart at the top of his class, a good athlete. His life ended tragically too soon. This award was created in John's memory and serves to remind us to please drive carefully. Congratulations, Faith. On behalf of the entire Lewis family, we are thrilled for you. Thank you so much. So, um, <laughs> well, I don't know when I hand this to you, but I have more to say. Huh? Okay, okay. Um, Faith is not only an extraordinary student, she's a member of the National Honor Society and public relations office, and a public relations officer. She's been the varsity co-captain of her lacrosse team also working two jobs outside of school. I'd say she's a very busy person who takes her responsibilities seriously and does them well, and well deserving of this award. Faith, I relate to you in many ways. While I never played lacrosse or was a member of the National Honor Society, we share a love of people. We share a love of communication with others and empathy for others. And that's what I read in your application, um, which so struck me, um, you know, and just got me right to the heart. Faith took the time to talk with a classmate on the telephone for four hours to help him through his darkest time of need Taking, talking him out of committing suicide and giving him countless reasons to live, showing him his value as a human being and a person and uplifting his spirit. That is one of the gifts any person can give to one another, just to let somebody know that you care. 
Faith, that speaks volumes as to the kind of person you are. Always taking time to help others, learning from your own experiences, you know how important it is to help others. I know you will fulfill your dream to open a center for mental, physical, spiritual health one day. What a wonderful dream and, and aspiration and goal. Um, congratulations on already having been accepted to four universities. I'll know, I know you will use the money received from the scholarship to make the best of your education. I wish for you all that you wish for yourself. Um, and I'm going to end by saying um, it's become a family uh, sort of end, uh, which was started by my, my other brother-in-law, Peter Lewis, which is, we wish you joy, love, and peace. Thank you so much. So. David Fleischer, please step forward. Good morning, my name is Mark Sack, and I have the honor of being a social studies teacher at Cleveland Heights High School. Holocaust-related education began at Cleveland Heights High School in the mid-1970s under the direction of nationally known educator Dr. Leatris Rabinsky. For the past 40 years, thousands of students have not only learned historical facts about that horrific period of time before and after before and during World War II, students have also been exposed to thought-provoking conversations about the dangers of prejudice, discrimination, and hate. Additionally, over the years, Heights High students have had meaningful experiences in such faraway places as Poland and Israel, and most recently at the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum and the new Smithsonian Museum of African American History and Culture in Washington, D.C. Our Holocaust class students have had also had opportunities over the past years to help others in a variety of community service projects. The main goals of Holocaust studies and the outside of the classroom experiences focus on helping our students become more thoughtful and tolerant people who not only won't engage in insensitive behavior toward others, but also people who will speak up and take action against prejudice and discrimination. In some small way, it is hoped that lessons of the Holocaust students will contribute to making Heights High and our community better places for all. In the fall of 2014, the Holocaust Education Fund within the Heights High Alumni Foundation received a grant from the Traub Family Foundation and other donations, and these funds are being utilized for special field trip experiences and for scholarships for outstanding senior lessons of the Holocaust students. Today I am presenting the Gita Frankel Scholarship for Outstanding Service to the Community to Heights High graduating senior David Fleischer. Mrs. Frank <laughs> Mrs. Frankel is a Holocaust survivor living in University Heights who has dedicated herself to helping educate Heights High students about the dangers of intolerance and hate the impact of her conversations with our students and thousands of other students all around Greater Cleveland is immeasurable. All of her presentations with Heights students end in mutual admiration and lots of hugs. In reviewing the applications for this scholarship, the committee has determined that David's participation in the Time to Talk Forum on Racism in Our Society, his participation in the Saltzman Youth Panel, with alloc which allocates money to different worthwhile organizations in our community, and his stated commitment to continuing to promote conversations and policies to help ensure a safe and positive environment for all people to live and coexist has earned him this award. The committee commends David for his past accomplishments, wishes him all the best in his future endeavors, and wants him and all of us to always remember that what we do matters. Congratulations, David. Thank you so much.
Mr. David, will you give me a please? I would like to ask Paris Colbert, Carlisle Hall, and Ray L. Manning to please step forward. Thank you. Uh, I'm Albert Ratner, and I graduated from Heights a few years ago, <laughs> 71 to be exact. And uh, after graduation, I did a semester at Reserve and went to the U.S. Army. When I came back home, I met a girl who was a senior at Cleveland Heights High School by the name of Faye Katz, and we fell in love and we got married, had two children, and she was a school psychologist in the inner city of Cleveland. She unfortunately was killed in an automobile accident about 40 years ago. The children and I decided that we would like to give an award to a senior at Heights High School that was nominated by a teacher or student that most exemplified the virtues and the things that they actually believed in. And all three of you young ladies do that. I was thinking of why I wouldn't be eligible for the award, and it wasn't so much that I was not a lady, but when I looked at your point averages and mine, I <laughs> really understood the difference. Faye dedicated her life to other people. She was the best friend that any human being ever could have had. And as I read through the resumes of the three of you, um, it occurred to me that you very much stood for the same things that Faye did. When we put the award together, one of the questions was, what should we designate it for? Should we say it goes to scholarship or this or that? We thought about Faye and we said to ourselves, what Faye would say to you is, it's your money, do with it what you will. All three of you are going to be going to college. I notice two of you will be going to become psychologists. Faye was a part of the Head Start program in the city of Cleveland. One of you is going into aerospace. So the way I look at it, she was very practical. She was a psychologist. I was a real estate developer. I had my head in the air. Congratulations to all three of you. Would Daniel Lawson please join me on the stage? Congratulations, seniors. My name is Carolyn Rogers, and I'm the recruitment coordinator for Parker Hanoff Incorporation. I'm pleased to be here with you today to celebrate your successes, and I want to let you know that Parker Hanoff Incorporation is the global leader in motion and control technologies and was established in Cleveland in 1917. And so we're very excited to be celebrating our centennial year. Parker has a rich tradition of community involvement, 
And today we continue our support of academic excellence by awarding the Parker Hannafin Foundation Scholarship for the pursuit of higher education in a technical field. Not only does this scholarship come with financial support, but it also comes with consideration for an internship with Parker next summer. This year's recipient has achieved academic excellence in the classroom while at the same time working part-time. He will be pursuing a chemical engineering degree in college starting this fall. And is he here today? Daniel Lawson. Okay. <laughs> well, um, in his absence, will you please join me in congratulating the Parker Hannafin Scholar, Daniel Lawson. Good morning. My name's Lita Gonzalez. I'm co-chair of the Officer Jason West Memorial Scholarship Committee. And with me today is Officer Sean Hinkle of the Cleveland Heights Police. Would Heights High alumni Teron Wright and Jordan Hall and graduating seniors David McKenzie and Christopher Smith please join me on stage? <clears throat> Ten years ago, on May 26, 2007, Officer Jason West responded to a disturbance call. That night, while protecting the citizens of Cleveland Heights, he made the ultimate sacrifice. He was shot and killed as he exited his patrol car. This city lost not only a dedicated police officer, but also a very dear friend and neighbor. Officer Jason West is a hero not because of the way he died, but because of the way he chose to live his life as a devoted son and brother, loyal friend, as a mentor and role model to young adults in the community, and as a dedicated police officer. Cleveland Heights residents and businesses, along with family and friends and fellow officers of Officer Jason West, came together in 2007 to establish the Officer Jason D. West Memorial Scholarship Fund. It is a two-year scholarship that is awarded each year to a graduating senior from the criminal justice program who plans on pursuing a career in law enforcement or criminal justice, and who exemplifies Officer West's dedication to and work as a police officer. Recipients receive the second part of their scholarship after they complete their first year in college. Teron Wright and Jordan Hall graduated last year and are receiving the second half of their scholarship. Teron attends Cleveland State University majoring in criminology and Jordan Hall attends Youngstown State University majoring in criminology. Um, these young men, uh, well, we're so proud of them. Uh, they will be successful no matter what they do. David McKenzie is described as a well-rounded young man with a strong work ethic. He's described as a leader and a role model to other students. At Heights High, he's a member of the Cleveland Heights track and cross country teams. And for the last three years, he has volunteered at the Eliza Bryant Village Luncheon helping older citizens. He has a deep interest in law 
and um, this summer attended the junior cadet program at the Ohio State Highway Patrol. He will be attending Cleveland State this fall. Christopher Smith met Officer Jason West when Chris was quite young. He was walking with his grandfather along Lee Road, and Officer West invited him to sit in his cruiser. That act of kindness impacted Chris and motivated him to want to be in law enforcement. He did an internship with the Department of Homeland Security. He also joined the Explorer program with the U.S. Customs and Border Protection, and in April won first place in the statewide Explorer competition. He will attend Cleveland State University in the fall. Both of these seniors have completed a two-year criminal justice program here at Heights High. They have passed the Ohio Peace Officers Training Academy certific Certificates Test and have been certified by the Ohio Attorney General as new private security officers. They are also graduating from the program with 23 college credits as well as FEMA certifications in such things as incident management, emergency support, and public information officers' activities. We congratulate you both. You have made us very proud, and we know you will continue your careers. Thank you. Good morning. This is for the Aspiring Educators Scholarship. Will the following students please join me on stage? Paris Colbert, Morgan Saunders, and Tiama Smith. This scholarship is given by the Educational Administrative and Professional Staff Council to graduating students who will major in education or who have demonstrated educational leadership. Young ladies, you represent so much of what Heights High has to offer academically and socially. You all have accepted the challenge of taking honors and AP classes. You've been involved in numerous school and community activities that range from standing up for social justice, sports, National Honor Society, holding leadership positions, and serving ice cream at Ben and Jerry's. Yum. Paris plans to work in schools to create effective learning environments for all students and address the role mental health plays in the classroom. She will major in psychology at Howard University. Morgan plans to become an elementary teacher, preferably with kindergarten students. She will attend Ohio University with a major in early childhood education and minor in special education. And Tiama plans to become a high school English teacher. She wants to help students realize their potential and help them set goals to achieve success. Tia will major in secondary education at the University of Akron. <laughs> Paris, Morgan, and Tia, congratulations to you. Please continue to make your dreams come true for all of our sakes. <laughs> congratulations. Good morning. I'm Madison Apple, and this is Margot Apple, and we're here to present the Robert F. Memorial Scholarship to Paris Colbert. Paris 
This scholarship was created in honor of our late grandfather, Bob Apple. Grandpa was a unifier, a community leader who believed in the power and the importance of education and the subsequent effect that education can have on a community. Although his impact can still be felt in small ripples throughout the CHUH community, two generations later, we wanted to reinstate his legacy with this scholarship. We set out to find a student who embodied the values of our grandpa that our grandpa instilled in us. And we found that embodiment in Paris. After sifting through 20 applicants, the nine of us were swift in choosing Paris. Paris is exactly what we had in mind when we set out to create this scholarship. This bright young lady is already well on her way to becoming a community leader. Paris has been involved in a wide variety of volunteering services, but not for personal gains, for the promotion of education and for the positive community impact. When asked about her future career plans, Paris said, and I quote, I want to gain this knowledge I want to gain the knowledge and ability to change the landscape of mental health by dispelling misconceptions and addressing common problems candidly while fighting education equality to create a level playing field for all students. That's amazing. And she, this girl is amazing. We're so glad to award this scholarship to someone so deserving. From Arlie, Bryn, Ashley, Peter, Hannah, Merrick, Jeremy, Madison, and myself, and our parents who are in the audience, Mark, Debbie, and Jay, congratulations. You're now an honorary Apple Presser. Good, good morning, good evening. Let me get my timer out. Would uh, Eric Adiaman, Jalen Harris, and Alyssa Moore please come to the stage? <laughs> my name is Reverend uh, Jimmy Hicks Jr., and it is always an honor and a pleasure, pleasure to come uh, to this event, even in the morning. I uh, represent uh, the Brothers and Sisters Scholarship for Academic Excellence, and to, uh, to be the 33rd year that I give this award or be a part of this award, uh, you know, is, is, is astounding to think about it because this began in, 19, in 1977, uh, seven, eight young men got together and formed an organization here at Cleveland Heights, and it grew to over 100 uh, high school members that came through this uh, school system and at college we decided that we wanted to give uh, back to our community and we have been giving back since 1984 and so uh, with an emphasis on academic uh, achievement and also uh, scholastic um, achievement in sports uh, we, we wanted to give this award again this year to these three young people. Now, Pastor Hicks wasn't playing. He really does have a timer. Uh, so we're going to honor that. And as he mentioned, the Brothers and Sisters Academic Excellence Scholarship uh, was started by students in 1977. Um, it was built on friendship sustained by legacy, and is focused on the support of African-American students. It's always an honor to be a part of giving this award. And the students selected this year resonated with the committee due to their dedication, passion, and refreshing response to life's unavoidable challenges. Eric, Alyssa, and Jalen, our hope is to sow a seed of hope and provide another vote of confidence in you but also to bestow our beliefs that, as we all know in this room, so much of the best is still yet to come for you. So we're gonna ask you to keep on pushing, keep on working hard, and to live your life 
and keep expecting the best unexpected things to happen for you, all the good. Thank you, guys. We're proud of you. And coming next to give his award is one of our original members and 10-year NFL uh, star, Michael Magruder. <laughs> All right, uh, Carl Henderson, please uh, come forward. <laughs> Once again, I wanted to uh, thank Dr. Dixon and Principal Ross for this uh, outstanding opportunity for the students to receive uh, scholarships. Uh, I graduated from Cleveland Heights High School and had the chance to see my dreams come true and play professional football, play in the Super Bowl, and do all the things that we dream about. I graduated from here. I'm in the Cleveland Heights Hall of Fame. I'm in the Sports Hall of Fame. And I flew back just because of this award today. Uh, Carl has a uh, 3.8 GPA. Uh, after reviewing uh, all applications, uh, my foundation, Platinum Charities, which is a, a foundation, 501c3, that I started uh, years ago, and I've given over 30 to 50 scholarships away around the country to different uh, student athletes. Uh, what better place to give back to where I grew up at, Cleveland Heights, especially because my mom is a, was a principal for so long, I, I had to give back somewhere here. So I want to give the opportunity to say that this young man that I call a superstar, because I look at every individual in here as a superstar, to give yourself a chance for your dreams to come true. I want to say, Carl, your future's ahead of you. Platinum Charities wants to give you a, uh, a, a check today, and we just thank the opportunity to be here. Thank you. I'd like to invite Jay Calloway to join me on the stage. I'm Esther Moss, and this scholarship was established in 2005 to give a talented student the assistance to continue his education. The student has shown consistent effort to achieve scholastically throughout high school and has participated in one or more school or community activities. This year's recipient is Jay Calloway. This is Jay's mother's mom. You can't be here today. Okay. <laughs> so, I'll give you the kudos. Thank you. Jay is a very honest young man who has taken his high school education seriously. He is academically strong with advanced placement classes and a member of the National Technical Honor Society. He has been a captain throughout his four-year baseball career, a three-year varsity letterman, and a baseball mentor for camps. Plus, he organized baseball players to volunteer for the school levy. Jay has gained much from being a student in Heights High exercise science class. For the past two years, he has been a Special Olympics coach and a member of HOSA. Jay will attend Ohio University this fall, 
with a focus on pre-physical therapy. Congratulations, Jay and his mother. <laughs> yes. Hello, I have the pleasure of honoring camera scholarship winner, Alyssa Morgan Saunders. Would you please come to the stage? The Cleveland Heights University Heights City School District is a member of the Cleveland Area Minority Educators Recruitment Association, also known as CAMRA. Our association consists of 20 member districts that seek to hire teachers, who are sensitive and responsible to student needs in a culturally diverse school environment. We work to recruit and retain qualified minority educators who will enable our districts to diversify our fa faculties more effectively and economically. As part of our recruitment efforts, CAMERA offers scholarships to minority candidates. Since the Cleveland Heights University Heights City Schools is a CAMERA member district, our graduating high school seniors who have been accepted into a college or university and intend to pursue a teaching license are eligible to apply for our scholarships. Oh, excuse me. Our winner, Ms. Saunders, will pursue a degree in early childhood education. She is quoted as saying, I know that being a teacher requires more than just teaching curriculum. This profession involves building trustworthy relationships, being someone students can confide in, being a source of motivation and giving students the resources and opportunities to succeed. Please help me congratulate the winner of a $2,000 camera scholarship, Ms. Morgan Saunders. Oh, I'm sorry. This year's recipient of the Sharon Marsha Tenenbaum Memorial Award is Tracy Kongai. Good morning, my name is Matt Ellen. I'm the president of Temple Emmanuel. Each year, Temple Emmanuel uh, awards this uh, scholarship to a recipient who, in whose life it will make a difference. Um, in this case, uh, Tracy, who is an excellent student, volunteers her time and learns from the people that she volunteers with um, is our recipient. She'll be attending Cleveland State University and plans to go on to pursue her master's degree in chemical engineering. Sharon Marsha Tenenbaum was a student at the Heights High School who was taken from her parents before graduation. So we're pleased to be able to award this each year. Congratulations, Tracy. Good morning. I'd like to call to the stage uh, Lucille Ashford, uh, Morgan Saunders, and uh, Destiny Ubani. My name is Calvin Singleton. I'm uh, the middle Singleton of three of us. Uh, my dad is the senior, and my son was the third and he was a uh, Heights High graduate, and he died unexpectedly in a drowning accident on his 30th birthday in Venice Beach, California. The one thing that we take away from his dying was his love of life and his joy in everything that he did and the fact that he loved giving and he loved being a part of things. Um, 
the scholarship that we're giving is for six students, uh, three of, I guess four of which aren't here. So, um, but that's okay. They'll still get their scholarship award. <laughs> um, the students here, one of the things that we wanted to do was we wanted to make sure that uh, it wasn't tied to academics. Calvin wasn't your uh, 4.0 student at all, but he did love excelling and just working hard at going after what he chose to go after. And from your essays, we saw that you knew that you wanted, you had a goal in mind. The other is that Calvin loved giving. And each of you have exhibited uh, a way in which you have given to your fellow man to make their lives better. And for that, we applaud you. And we look forward to your doing better things and greater things in your life as you continue your, your education. So with this, I would, um, again, congratulate you and thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. With Akash Bartlett, Ms. Bufford, I always say her first name wrong, Kasia, <laughs> Laura Harris Oldenbrat, Callan Swam Fox, Alexis Thompson, please come forward. Guess what, guys? I don't have any checks for you. I didn't know your person wasn't coming, but I will get in touch with them, all right? This is in recognition of your devotion to the choir, and we all thank you, because we've heard you over the years that you've been here. We've seen performances that you've been in, and we know that your dedication to the art of singing and stage decorating, right? Okay. We know that you're very dedicated to that. And then some of the things that you guys have given to me, I know that some of you are going to continue in that career. So we all wish you the best. And we say bless you for blessing us with your talents while you've been here. And congratulations. And I'll find out about the money. <laughs> Good morning. Will Shannon Burr and Lewis Cobalt please join me? I've been asked to fill in for Ms. Eisenberg and Ms. Skihan and present this award on their behalf. Ms. Eisenberg did write a few comments that I'd like to read to you. When the visual art department was asked to nominate a student for an award at this ceremony, it was a very difficult decision. We have so many seniors deserving of this award. We could not choose just one. So we have chosen two seniors, Lewis Cobalt and Shannon Burr. I've had the pleasure, this is Ms. Eisenberg speaking, I've had the pleasure of having both of these students in my classes. I am lucky that I get to work with many talented and dedicated student artists every day. These two have raised the bar on many levels. They have participated and won many awards in a variety of regional and state level competitions and exhibitions. 
Their work is a consistent inspiration to me as a teacher as well as to their peers. Their maturity, dedication, and exceptional creativity will surely take them far. Lewis plans to attend Cleveland Institute of Art in the fall, plans to study illustration. Shannon plans to attend College for Creative Studies in the fall, where he will major in fashion accessory design. The Cleveland Heights High School Art Department couldn't be more proud of all of their accomplishments. We know that Lewis and Shannon will be a great success in all that they do, and that their art will continue to bring joy to themselves and those around them. Congratulations, Lewis and Shannon, and cheers to your next artistic adventure. Follow your dreams, this is your journey. Anya Chu, Danielle Hefner, Odina Nakachi, Destiny Ubani, please come forward. This scholarship was founded after the mother of Fox 8 News anchor Wayne Dawson and Judge William Dawson of the East Cleveland Municipal Court. Mrs. Annie Dawson always preached tenacity perseverance, and the importance of education. It is established to recognize outstanding high school students, uh, students who understand the value of education, those who display leadership, hard work, and determination are the students that they seek to reward. Anya, one of your teachers states that you are a student who genuinely enjoys learning. Your grades reflect a true desire to gain knowledge and enhance your abilities. You're an insightful thinker and a leader in her classroom. Anya will attend the Ohio State University with a major in political science. Danielle, your teacher, states that you are a very hard worker who consistently produces quality work that is well above the work of all of his students, of all of his classes. Danielle works very well with others, as well as pushing herself to learn on her own. She is very inquisitive, polite, and a very mature young adult. Danielle will attend Allegheny College with a major in environmental science. And Una Nakachi, who everyone knows as Destiny, constantly raised her level of performance and also assisted her peers in doing the same, tutoring them, re-examining difficult subject matter and language they could understand better. However, her favorite, the teacher's favorite part of having destiny as a student was how outspoken she is. She was. She was always the first to offer her opinion support her classmates, and make compromises that allowed everyone to feel like their voices were heard. Odena Nakachi will attend the University of Massachusetts of Boston with a major in biology. Congratulations, ladies. Kaylin Flowers, please come up. Uh, Dorothy Eichhoff Cross, is Kaylin here? Oh, okay. Dorothy Eichhoff Cross was an English teacher at Cleveland Heights High for 30 years. She taught alternative as well as the traditional classes. Good morning, hon. <laughs> she was the advisor of the literary magazine. She had an amazing sense of humor. But what is most remembered about Dorothy is that she was a very, very dedicated teacher 
who loved her students and expected the best of them, and she was very much loved by her students. This memorial scholarship is awarded to a student who has worked diligently and showed much improvement in their writing skills. Kaylin, Ms. Strine writes to you. In the AP Literature and Composition course, students are required to write an essay in 40 minutes, which prepares them for the AP exam. The essay is scored on a nine-point scale. Kaylin has improved her scores on these timed essays from a five to a seven. Yeah. Not, only, not only has her score improved, but Kaylin has accepted constructive criticism along the way from reading through Ms. Ms. Strine's written feedback to meeting with her on a one-on-one -on -one writing workshops in order to elevate your writing. This maturity exemplifies that Kaylin will excel in her collegiate studies and beyond. Kaylin, congratulations. I don't know. Nice to meet you. Kaylin will continue her studies at University of Toledo with a major in exercise science. Good morning. I'd like to call to the stage Stephen Lang, Charlie Adams, and Delia Robinson. My name is Melissa Rink, and I'm honored to be here today on behalf of the Barden Benner Carter Memorial Foundation to present awards to these three outstanding students. Our Memorial Foundation was established in 2001 following a tragic car accident, which took the lives of Cleveland Heights High School students, Kyle Barden, Brendan Benner, and Milton Carter. They were all members of the Cleveland Heights High School varsity hockey team. Our scholarship is presented each year in commemoration of Kyle, Brendan, and Milton for individuals associated with the Heights High School hockey team. This year, we have three deserving and extremely well-qualified recipients. Between them, they have exhibited hard work and dedication through sports, music, and in the classroom with an impressive list of honors and AP courses. They've achieved numerous academic and athletic accomplishments and are involved in various extracurricular activities both through Heights High and in the community. Our first recipient is Delia Robinson. Delia has two brothers that played for the Heights High hockey team. Delia has been described by her teachers as an independent learner with excellent organizational and time management skills. She has been a member of Heights Singers for three years and the a cappella choir for one year. Delia has been involved with many community activities and has been a lifeguard at Cumberland Pool. She has a 3.9 GPA and will be attending The Ohio State University. As a fellow hockey sister and Height Singers alum, I'm proud to be able to present this award to Delia. Congratulations. Our next recipient is Charlie Adams. Charlie was a four-year member of the Heights High varsity hockey team. His coach recently said that when Charlie speaks, everyone listens. I have no doubt that this, combined with his hard work on the ice, earned him the honor of the assistant captain this season. Charlie made the second team in the Red South All-Division team and was selected to play in the senior All-Star game in the Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League. Charlie was a member of the Heights High soccer team for four years, serving as the JV captain one year. He was also a member of the Heights baseball team for four years and is a two-time All-LEL first team member. He enjoys helping others in the community, as is evident through his four summers volunteering at the Heights Emergency Food Center. 
Charlie is a member of the National Honor Society and is finishing third in his class with a 4.5 GPA. <laughs> Charlie will be attending Kenyon College. Congratulations, Charlie. <laughs> Our final recipient is Stephen Lang. Stephen has been involved in numerous community volunteer activities. He has been a member of the baseball team at Heights, and he was a member of the golf team, earning the title of senior captain this year. Stephen was a four-year member of the varsity hockey team and was the senior captain this year. Stephen was recently described by his coach as leading by example. This leadership was clearly evident as he made the all-division team all four years and the first team all-league all four years in the Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League. But I'd say Stephen's greatest accomplishment on the hockey team this year was becoming the all-time leading career goal scorer for Heights High Hockey with 131 goals. As if that wasn't enough, he also tied the all-time career points for Heights High Hockey with 248 points. Stephen has a 3.3 GPA and will be attending the University of Cincinnati. Congratulations, Stephen. David Fleischer and Tyler Lawson, please join me on stage. The, the Rotary Club of Shaker Heights annually awards scholarships to graduating seniors from area high schools who will be attending college in the upcoming fall. The students must demonstrate a record of academic achievement and community service. This year, the scholarship is in the amount of $2,000, which they will receive this afternoon at the Shaker Rotary Club luncheon. Tyler and David have achieved academic success with grade point averages above 4.0 while being involved in sports, the National Honor Society, and many, many community service activities. David is the founder of the Cleveland Heights Youth Committee. It is entirely youth-led and has worked to promote positive change in Heights and teen leadership growth. They believe in the value of giving back through a variety of community service. David plans to pursue a career in law, mainly public defense. He will study economics at the University of Texas at Austin. One of Tyler's teachers writes that Tyler is compassionate, kind, and knowledgeable. She's never been afraid to serve and help other students in their learning. She served as a mentor for the Closing the Achievement Gap initiative at Heights High School, where she provided peer tutoring in pre-calculus and language arts. As student council president, she's also in the unique position to collaborate with other student groups and represent the school at a myriad of community functions. She began a sexual violence awareness initiative at the high school that she conceptualized and focused on informing and empowering students to stand up against the trend. Tyler will study dentistry this fall at Case Western Reserve University. Congratulations, Tyler and David. <laughs> Would Paris Colbert please come forward? This is for the Glenn Altschul Scholarship Award. And I am Mr. Ari Klein today, who is the president of our local Cleveland Heights Teachers Union, Local 795. This award was established by the Cleveland Heights Teachers Union, Local 795, to honor a senior who is going to college to become a teacher. It is named after a former Cleveland Heights High 
Heights High School teacher that served loyally as the Cleveland Heights Teacher Union President for over 20 years. This year's recipient is Paris Colbert. One of Paris's teachers writes that, there are students that teachers dream of having, cheerful, enthusiastic, personable, talented, and, and a hard worker. Paris Colbert is one of those students. She has a quiet leadership style. Paris used her academic gifts to routinely help other students. She carried this skill into extracurricular activities. Over the summer, Paris worked at a local library, often assisting people her age, as well as those older and younger than she. Also, Paris become, became a volunteer to autistic children after school and at the Saturday Tutor Program. Paris's career plans are to help struggling students improve. She will attend Howard University with a major in psychology to become a school psychologist. Paris, congratulations on this well-deserving award. Hello, uh, my name is Jesse Lang and I'm the director of the vocal music department. Uh, I'd like to invite uh, Ms. Callan Swain Fox, Ms. Kasia Bufford, and Ms. Uh, Mr. William Aiken to the stage, please. Excuse me. The uh, VAPO Music Merit Award is a essay uh, competition in which uh, the VAPO stands for the Vocal Arts Parents Organization, the fundraising wing of our uh, booster parent group for um, the vocal music department. We, they specialize in scholarships and they specialize in supporting uh, travel and other enriching activities for the music students. Um, this year, these three students will be sharing a uh, $2,000 in uh, scholarships toward the institutions of their choosing. Uh, in third place is Callan Swain Fox. Second place is Keisha Bufford. And first place is Mr. Will Aiken. Thank you. Uh, our second vocal award is the Molly Manring Memorial Scholarship. Uh, it is presented to Ms. Carlisle Hall. Would you please join me on stage? <clears throat> this scholarship is established in the memory of Molly Manring, who was a member of the Cleveland Heights High School Choir from 1969 to 1971. The recipient must be a member of choir or height singers and have the qualities of warmth, love, compassion, and deep sensitivity. This year's recipient, Carlisle Hall, is all of those things, as well as the most awarded soloist this year as well. Um, the, tw the choir director writes that Carlisle is the best example of, that's me, uh, the best example of <laughs> Effort, talent, and leadership. She is self-motivated, positive, leads by example, uh, and she is just a wonderful person that I had the privilege to work with for the last two years, and uh, we're really gonna miss her. Thank you, Carlisle. <laughs> the Director's Award for, cho for Chorus is a nationally recognized award that is uh, awarded to the students in honor of the most outstanding contribution and achievement in, in chorus. Uh, this year, 
this award is presented to Ms. Keisha Bufford and Ms. Alexis Thompson. Lastly, uh, from the vocal music department, the National School Choral Award this year uh, is limited to only as, as many as two award recipients per year. The, uh, you, you're only allowed to give this award out to the two best students in the program. And this year, there was one name that stood above the rest. Uh, she is a wonderful person who we look forward to seeing all of the wonderful things that she's going to do in the future. We really hope she comes back and sees us a lot to keep us up to date with all the great things that I'm sure she's going to accomplish. This year, the National School Choral Award winner is Ms. Callan Swain Fox. Would the following recipients please come to the stage? Trevante Patterson, Kishan Talo, Paul Gist, and Kivan Grissom. The Tiger Shop Scholarship is made possible through the sale of Tiger Shop Spirit Wear. And I'm very happy to announce that the Tiger Shop has a new home in our new building. And so hopefully these scholarships will continue and multiply. These scholarships recognize students who have overcome obstacles and have shown tenacity in attaining and pursuing their dreams. I am very proud to honor these recipients. Trevante Patterson, is planning on a career in law enforcement and will be attending Tri-C and hopefully continuing at Youngstown State. Kashanta Lowe is also interested in pursuing a career in law enforcement and will be heading to college in the fall. Congratulations. <laughs> Kayvon completed an internship at the Howard Hanna Barrister's Office in Beechwood, and she did a fabulous job. They absolutely loved her there. And in the fall, she's planning on going to Cleveland State. And then Paul Gist completed two years of uh, work experience at CVAC and did beautifully also, and he is now working at Heinen's and will be attending Tri-C in the fall. So can we give them another round of applause? Good morning. My name is Mary Anderson. I'm the 11th grade guidance counselor as well as the <laughs> CTE, Career and Technical Education Guidance Counselor. Would Deja Williams please join me on the stage? The Medical Mutual, <laughs> the Medical Mutual of Ohio Scholarship is awarded to a Heights High senior who plans to pursue a career in the medical field. The recipient is chosen based on a combination of economic need and academic achievement. I'm happy to announce that this year's winner is Deja Williams. 
Deja has excelled in the Clinical Health Careers Program over the past two years. She has earned her American Heart Healthcare Provider Certification for CPR and AED. She has placed in regional competitions in the health organization Students of America and went on to compete at the state level. Deja is also on the varsity cheerleading squad. She has played volleyball at Heights and has been involved in the President's Council Scholars Program for the past three years. Also, she has a part-time job. Deja will attend the University of Akron this fall to study psychology or social work. We wish her all the best. Congratulations, Deja. Good morning. I'm Juliana Johnston Centuria from the Great Heights class of 1987, and I serve as the executive director of the recently renamed Heights Schools Foundation. On behalf of the Heights Schools Foundation Board of Trustees, which is formerly known as the Heights Alumni Foundation, congratulations to all of the graduating seniors and scholars, and a special recognition to your family, friends, the donors and supporters who all collectively support you to become these amazing students that you are. Uh, graduates, we know that you'll find other loyalties throughout your next steps, but over time you will find that the Tiger Pride stays with you. You are joining more than 55,000 alumni, and you are now and will forever be a member of the Tiger Nation. The Heights Schools Foundation is the next natural step in a progression of support for our city schools. What began as the Alumni Association more than 25 years ago has expanded into a schools foundation that will provide resources that enhance and enrich the educational experiences of students. We do this through partnerships with alumni and the broader community. Over our shared history, we've awarded grants and scholarships that total over $350,000. Today, we award just over $16,000 in scholarships to outstanding students in several categories. I'm gonna ask the following students to join me on the stage, and I'll tell you about each of their awards. Uh, would Anya Chu, Jay Calloway, Destiny Ubani, Shannon Burr, Morgan Saunders, and Jayana Watson, please join me on the stage. Uh, the first three scholarships that we'll award are called the Alma Mater Scholarships. Heights alumni are proud of their high school alma mater, of course, but they're also proud of their college alma mater. Heights alumni generously support students attending their certain colleges and universities by donating to a collective scholarship fund in honor of their own alma mater. These scholarships are awarded to students who plan on attending one of those same colleges as the Tigers who came before them. This year, three alma mater scholarships are being awarded. Anya Chu. Congratulations. Uh, Jay Calloway. Mom, you've earned it, so thank you. Thank you. Uh, and Destiny Ubani. Who is not with us? I put that aside. Okay. Thank you very much. If you guys will just stay while I do the, the other few. Uh, the next scholarship is the Schreckengast Geed Design Scholarship awarded to Shannon Burr. Victor Schreckengast, often referred to as an American da Vinci, was an artist who worked in various mediums over the course of his life. While not a graduate of Cleveland Heights High School, he was closely connected in his life and he lived in Cleveland Heights for over 50 years and was a great supporter of the schools. In fact, one of his designs can be seen within our schools as he designed the mascot for the Roxborough Elementary School. After graduating from Heights, Mr. Geed uh, 
famous, well-known architect in the community, was a vital member who uh, also created the Cleveland Restoration Society. During a career that spanned 60 years, he worked on a wide assortment of projects. This scholarship is awarded uh, to a student with the goal of a career in art design or architecture in their memory, and this is for Shannon Burr. Okay. The next award is the James Cipolletti Future Educator Scholarship. James, or Jim, as many of him, or Chip, in fact, as many people called him, Cipolletti, was a former administrator in the high school system. Mr. Cipolletti earned a BA at John Carroll University before receiving his master's at Kent State University. After 11 years in the Cleveland Public Schools, Mr. Cipolletti became principal at the Wiley Middle School, a role which he held for 20 years. Mr. Cipolletti was then administrative principal at Heights High, a position that he held for five years before retiring. In his memory, this scholarship is awarded to a graduating college-bound senior intending to have their career in education. Congratulations, Morgan Saunders. The next award is the Legends Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to a graduating senior. Uh, the recipient must uh, have been a student at Cleveland Heights High for at least two years and have at least one parent who is a graduate of Heights High. Um, this applicant must also submit a written essay and applicants are chosen from uh, the merit of their essay. Congratulations to Jayana Watson for this award. Thank you all, you can be seated and I'll call the next group of recipients. If uh, Lucille Ashford, Nina Yao, Cody, I'm gonna get this right, Radiovich, Radiovich, Radovoyevich, thank you. Cody Radovoyevich, uh, Paris Colbert, Eric A. Diamond, and David Fleischer would join me on the stage, please. Okay, the next set of scholarships that are being awarded start with the Sandra Beck Wessler Memorial Scholarship. Sandra Toby Beck-Wessler graduated from Cleveland Heights High School in June of 1965. Sadly, Sandy was diagnosed with leukemia in February of 1966. In May of that year, she and her high school sweetheart, Barry Wessler, were married. And sadly, pa Sandy passed away that August of 1966. This is awarded to a graduating senior who's attending college with the goal of a career related to medicine. Uh, this award goes to Lucille Ashford. Bertram Bart Wolstein Entrepreneurial Scholarship. Bertram Bart Wolstein was a 1945 Heights High graduate and an inductee into the Cleveland Heights High School Distinguished Alumni Hall of Fame. This scholarship is awarded in memory of Mr. Wolstein to a graduating college-bound senior intending to major in business, finance, or economics. This year's award winner is Nina Yao. <laughs> David Chiswick Student Athlete Scholarship. David Chiswick was a member of the class of 1929. At Heights, Chiswick excelled on the football team in addition to playing other sports, basketball and baseball. He was a key part of the Heights football team that went on to win the Greater Cleveland Championship. After graduation, he was on the football team at The Ohio State University. A true student athlete, David was on the honor roll at Heights many times and while at Ohio State had among the best grades on the football team. This scholarship is awarded to a current outstanding scholar athlete in his memory. This year's winner 
is Cody Rodeovich. Rodeano, help me. <laughs> help me get it right. Radovojevich. Radovojevich. Thank you. You have a good sense of humor. Congratulations. The Marion Katz McGeed Memorial Scholarship. A passionate supporter of public education, Marion graduated from Heights in 1953. The Marion Katz McGeed Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a student who is chosen based on the quality of the submission of an original, innovative, and imaginative work of fiction or poetry. This year, two students were chosen to receive a $1,000 scholarship each based on their excellent creative pieces that were submitted. Congratulations to Paris Colbert and Eric Adeyemin. The Ralph J. Masengo and the Ralph J. Masengo Jr. Memorial Scholarship. In memory of Ralph J. Masengo, who served in the U.S. government in a civilian and military capacity for nearly 40 years, and his son, former Heights High student Ralph J. Masengo Jr., whose promising future ended too soon. Major James D. Masengo, U.S. Army class of 1978 also, and Mr. Fred T. Masingo, class of 1967, who desires to fulfill, uh, to volunteer for military service or who has a parent who has, been, has honorably served our country in a br branch of the military. This year's recipient is David Fleischer. Thank you all. Congratulations, students. If the following students would join me on the stage, Rael Manning, Ben Schuster, and Lucille Ashford, and Dorothy Ferris. The Deb Delisle Scholarship. Deb Delisle was superintendent of the Cleveland Heights University Heights City School District from 2003 to 2008 before becoming the State of Ohio Superintendent of Public Instruction. During her tenure, she brought an unprecedented and contagious energy and passion as well as an unyielding belief in every student in the district. Her focus on the success of all students articulated through her mantra, every student, every day, some success, some way, charted a path toward excellence which continues to motivate the future of the Heights schools. This scholarship honors the achievements and spirit of Ms. Delisle, the first generation, a first generation college graduate herself by extending her legacy in a way that she would find most rewarding, helping a student have the same opportunities provided to her. This year's award winner is Raelle Manning. <laughs> Dr. Sidney J. Goldstein, June Class of 1952 Scholarship. In honor of their 75th birthday, the June class of 1952 established an annual scholarship fund in order to give back to their alma mater and to help support current Heights High students. The scholarship is awarded to a graduating senior who intends to further their education by pursuing a course of study that will prepare them for a career in some kind of public service. The applicant must have worked or volunteer in the public sector and articulate the area of public service they are interested in, as well as why they feel it's important to dedicate oneself to public service, and they do this through an, a submitted essay. This year, two awards for $1,000 each are being given due to the outstanding applications received. This year's award winners are Ben Schuster and Lucille Ashford.
And last but not least, this year, each year, uh, in order to recognize excellence in education and striving for the highest level of achievement, the top scholar of the graduating class is awarded a $1,000 scholarship. This year, uh, we congratulate Dorothy Ferris on leading your high school graduating class in scholastic achievement with a 4.7568 grade point average. <laughs> Okay. We know that this is an accomplishment of which you will continue to be proud. Um, on behalf of the foundation, thank you. On behalf of the high school's foundation uh, and the many donors who contributed, uh, who are not all named in the scholarship name, but over a hundred donors contribute to make our scholarship program um, successful. So I thank all of them as well. And uh, please uh, learn more about our scholarships and how to support the Heights Schools Foundation on our website at heightschoolsfoundation.org. Congratulations to all of our scholars. Robert Schultz Foundation, Odina Nakachi Ubani. Did she get here yet? No. Okay. This is a community volunteerism service award established in the name of Robert L. Schultz. The recipient must participate in community service or volunteerism individually or as part of a group at any location such as school, church, temple, community organization, and through any group, such as key club, Girl Scouts, church, youth group, etc. The recipient this year is Odina Nakachi Destiny Ubani. Odina Nakachi wrote in her essay that community service has provided her with so many irreplaceable life lessons and also a happiness that could never be replaced. She believes that given directly to others in the community, whether it's homeless shelters, nursing homes, or food drives, is a great advantage, <clears throat> excuse me, because it allows her to develop a personal connection. She states that sometimes people get so caught up in their surroundings that they believe everyone is living the same way they are, not realizing that the world is so much bigger than the community that they live in. So even though she's not here, let's congratulate Odina Nakachi. Good morning, everyone. I am Kim Lash. And I'm Carol Yu. Hi. <laughs> we are here to ask Ray L. Manning to please come to the stage and give her the Helen our Fox Memorial Award. The Helen Fox Award is in honor of Helen Fox, who was the founder of the Pride Program at Cleveland Heights High School in the 1980s. She had insight, love, and courage of young people to support and help and guide them in making healthy choices and really working with young people that had the courage to make major changes in their life under all odds. Today, Helen Fox Award, uh, she was a pioneer. Today, the programs that she started are in all high schools. At that time, it was only here at Cleveland Heights High School. And we are honored to give this award to Rael. Rael has a pleasant personality, the sweetest. The and in the face of challenges, she does not lose her positive spirit. She has overcome a variety of barriers to achieve her goal of excelling in her academics with a 3.9167 grade point average. Rael will attend the University of Cincinnati with a ma major in aerospace engineering. Rael, congratulations. Continue to believe in yourself.
Will Corey Hicks please come to the stage? This is for the Betty Levy Scholarship. Betty Levy was an English teacher in this district for over two decades. She had faith in all her students and challenged them to reach their potential. For many, many years, Betty was an avid boys basketball fan. She kept stats on each player, freely shared her game plan and commentary with coaches and fans alike, and always encouraged the players. This scholarship, in one small way, pays tribute to that contribution. It is given to a senior who has been a member of the basketball team for at least three years. This year's recipient is Corey Hicks. Several of Corey's teachers have observed that Corey is a hardworking, respectful, and bright young man. He is a role model for other students, particularly other males here at our high school. He is a great student and the epitome of what a young man should be. He is a sound academic student and athlete. His smile is contagious. His sense of humor, wit, and intelligence are truly beyond his years. Corey has been on the varsity basketball team for four years and is very active in his church. He wants to be a physical therapist to help injured athletes. He will attend Cleveland State University this fall. Congratulations, Corey. Mario Boos, please join me. Okay. The Joseph J. Stuhl Memorial Scholarship was established in 1984 in memory of Joseph J. Stuhl, who taught at the high school from 1968 until 1984. The requirements for this award are that the recipient emulates the qualities which Joe demonstrated in his life. These qualities are compassion, trustworthiness, and a pride in doing the best job possible. This year's recipient is Mario Boos. Mario's business management technology teacher, Dr. Davis, writes that Mario is a hardworking student who is very goal-oriented and always performs to the best of his ability. He has shown his maturity as well outside the classroom as he has risen to the role of captain of the wrestling and track and field teams here at Heights. Mario has been awarded the All Academic Award his 11th and 12th grade year for maintaining a 3.8 GPA. His dream school, yes, his dream school is the Ohio State University where he will major in business and minor in sports administration. Congratulations, Mario. Would Carl Henderson and Tyler Lawson come forward, please? The Women's Civic Club of Cleveland Heights was organized in 1912. The purpose was to promote an interest in the civic and educational development of Cleveland Heights and to manifest a general concern in social and civic affairs. Scholarships have been given to a young man and a young lady every year since the organization was formed. This year's recipients are Carl Henderson and Tyler Lawson. Carl is an eager learner, always willing to ask questions to clarify information. He puts forth a great deal of effort to ensure success, and one of your teachers is writing this, Carl, in their class, okay? His attitude and work ethic are exemplary. Not satisfied with meteorocracy, he makes it a point to do whatever is necessary to ex achieve excellence. No matter how challenging expectations are, he meets them head on. Carl is a well-rounded student. He plays football, was captain during his junior year, and won the Future Award. He also has made honor rolls several times and won a Citizenship Award. Carl volunteers with needy families, and he tutors freshman biology students. Carl was in the orchestra at our school, 
He's a member of the National Technical Honor Society, Cisco Computer Networking Program, and he plays the piano. Carl will attend Oberlin College with a major in computer science. Tyler consistently strives for excellence in the classroom and was one of your teacher's top students in AP US government and politics class, B Square. She has mature self-expression skills and is articulate, is articulate and knowledgeable about many topics of the concern in today's world. She was a great addition to the Model UN Club last year. She won an honorable mention for her essay written for the Cleveland City Club's free speech contest. Her status as a member of, of a religious minority in the U.S. no doubt informs her views on the importance of free speech in a democratic society, as well as the importance of the use of trigger warnings on college campuses. Her work in her class, her teacher's class, the moot, the mock court project, demonstrated her ability to research, construct, and defend an argument. She has an open and inquiring mind, and I know that she will flourish in a college atmosphere. She is more than ready and capable. Tyler will attend Case Western Reserve University with a major in biology. We wish Carl and Tyler the most success in their future endeavors. The Ideal Senior Female and Male Award. This year, we started a tradition of selecting an ideal senior female and an ideal senior male to be announced here today at the Senior Award Assembly. The process to select these two recipients were as follows. Nominations were made by teachers. From the nomination form submitted by the teachers, a list of senior males and females were made. The senior class was then asked to vote for an ideal male and an ideal female student. The top vote getters, both from the female and the male, plus ties became the finalists. These students were then interviewed by a community committee from outside of the school. The top vote getters were then interviewed by the committee who considered traits such as grades, service, extracurricular participation, personality, leadership, and citizenship. The outside interviewers made the final choice of who they felt best represented an ideal senior female and an ideal senior male person. The students don't know who won this award, and that's why in your program you will see, I believe it says, to be announced. So they don't know who won this award, but they're gonna find out right now. So it gives me great pride to say that the 2017 Ideal Senior Female recipient is Callan Swain Fox. Callan, come on up. Here, Cal, let's stay right here. Why don't you come over here on this side? And also, the 2017 Ideal Senior Male recipient goes to Devante Simmons.
So this is the first year that we've honored an ideal senior uh, male and female. So again, one more time for these two recipients. Thanks, guys. You have a seat. So all students who have been offered scholarships and financial awards from colleges and universities, could you please come to the front of the auditorium to be congratulated by us all? So if you've received any type of scholarship, athletic scholarship, um, community scholarship, could you please come forward and just stand right in front of the first row seats? So these students have received awards and scholarships from various colleges and universities. They have worked very hard during their high school years and we want to acknowledge them with pride as well as admiration. The amount that has been reported to us as a total is Additionally, many of our students were not, or many of our students were offered uh, athletic scholarships in varying amounts that we do not uh, have that amount right now, so that will be included in those totals as well. Also from the local community, seniors receive scholarships in the amount of $78,893, if I can get that out, uh, due to the generosity of our various families and organizations here today. So let's hear for the community. So if you combine those two, the total that we have is $11,573,149 total of scholarships that uh, our seniors have received here today. So congratulations to you all. All right, seniors, you may go ahead and grab a seat. Go ahead, seniors, you can go ahead and sit, sit back down, thank you. I think they like being front and center. So as we close the program today, let me just say what a day. I mean, that's a lot of money that was given out here uh, to this senior class here. So again, congratulations to all of our seniors. I would also like to say to the community, the family, and the organizations, uh, thank you for your generosity. We greatly appreciate everything that you have done for our seniors. Seniors, you will receive information in the mail which will allow you to write thank you to the people who have awarded you today. So please make sure that when you get uh, that information in the mail that you do uh, send thank you uh, letters to those individuals. It is also my hope that our seniors say something positive to their parents because without your parents, you wouldn't be where you are today. Uh, so please make sure that you say something to your parents. And then at this time, I would just like to say, please join me in one last applaud for all of our seniors. That will be the end of our program. Uh, everyone have a great day.